This videotape presents a direct manipulation technique for editing 3D computer animation. Today's most common form of 3D animation uses an interpolating 3D spline first introduced by Kochanek and Bartels. This spline allows the setting of space-time control points. This example shows an animator trying to blend a single spatial change into an existing motion path. First, the animator must move several control points to blend the change into surrounding motion. Once this is done, the animator has also introduced new and undesired timing changes into the animation. With KB splines, timing and position are inseparable. Since the motion path is parameterized by arc length in our new system, changes to the curve's shape do not affect the timing of the animation. Our new manipulation technique represents changes to a curve by the addition of functions. We call these functions displacement functions. By using displacement functions, we are able to specify an arbitrary range over which spatial change is automatically blended. We can now move an arbitrary point along the curve. In addition, since displacement functions are additive, subsequent changes leave prior features intact. This second example shows an animator attempting to change the timing of a KB curve without affecting the shape. As you see, the animator must edit many control points, and the final shape is only an approximation to the original shape of the curve. By using a separate graph for the timing, shown below, we can satisfy such temporal goals by modifying the graph over an arbitrary range using displacement functions. The animator merely drags the object to its new position along the curve, and timing is adjusted to maintain the duration of the segment while satisfying this goal. The additive nature of displacement functions allows larger timing changes to leave smaller timing changes intact. To achieve a change in velocity using a KB spline, an animator must again move several control points, attempting to maintain the shape of the curve while altering the timing. Using the velocity control displacement function, an animator simply drags on the object to achieve a faster or slower speed along the curve. Only the temporal graph is modified. In addition, since the spline is parameterized by arc length, the velocity directly reflects the true velocity of the object. A more natural interface to visualizing and editing animation is to draw and manipulate actual copies of the animated object instead of tick marks. The transparency of each copy indicates its temporal distance from the current time. This visualization scheme also allows visualization of scale and rotation. We can temporally translate the object as before, but now we can more clearly see the induced timing changes. We can also manipulate rotation. and we can make changes to velocity. The playback feature may not be as useful, however. This entire system was implemented at Brown University on top of the UGA system. I gratefully acknowledge our sponsors.